today I have a review for this hair. The hair that I am wearing is from Sexy Hair off a off of off a off of AliExpress.com. So yeah, if you'd like to know more about this hair, then just keep on watching. Hi guys, okay, so today I am wearing this hair from Sexy Hair. The hair that I have in my hair is their Peruvian straight. Now, I did curl the hair myself, but I'll get into the details of how I curled my hair later on in the video. So, just the specs of the hair I have in their Peruvian straight 16, 18, 20 inch, and a 14 inch middle part closure, 4x4 four four closure. So, yeah, one, I can say right off the bat that the hair is definitely super, super thick, super, super full. Like, this is only three bundles, and it is definitely a lot of hair I'm not sure if you can tell because the hair is curled but it's definitely full definitely a lot can you guys see the ends of the hair and everything like that so the depth the hair is definitely full it has a lot of like it has a really nice shine to it it's, the hair is the same from root to tip I have no like I can't see through the ends or anything like that the ends aren't raggedy the ends are very very good the hair came bone bone straight so I did curl the hair. To curl the hair, all I did was do pin curls in my hair. Now let me know down below if you'd like to see a pin curl tutorial. I believe I've done one on my natural hair, but I've never done one on weave. And I did not use the flat iron. I used a curling wand. So yeah, let me know down below if you'd like to see me do um, how I achieve my pin curls. So I did have to cut a few layers in my hair just because it would not have this like layered look if I did not because the 14 inch closure of course is much longer than um, the layers that I put in. So I did start layers about right here maybe and then just keep going down. So yeah. That's all I did was, a, was apply a few layers in the front of my hair and then I pin curled the hair using a curly wand and some um, bobby pins. So I've had this hair for a while. Now the shipping, the first time the hair came, it was nothing on them, but the, um, the company, not the company, UPS or DHL, one of them lost the package. So they were nice. They were very nice. They shipped out a new one as soon as DHL contacted us and told us that the package was uh, stolen. They shipped one right out and I got the hair within like two days right after that. So it was nothing on them. The shipping came really, really fast and I'm pretty sure it's the same process that they did before. So I had no problem. Like I legit thought I was going to have to wait a while before I got the hair because when they told me that they stole it, they contacted me and let me know everything that was happening. They were really nice with their customer service, so I really did appreciate that. They did not leave me, even though DHL did contact me th themselves. Um, the company was really nice and really, really uh, helpful, letting me know everything that was going on, what they planned on doing, and shipping the hair right out. Like, I did not have to wait. I think I waited maybe two days for, like, legit, and the hair was right at my doorstep that neck that morning so I definitely appreciate that and it really does show them that they care about their customer and their customer service I'm not I'm not sure if I mentioned this but this is their Peruvian Peruvian Remy hair I have not gotten any tangling I have not gotten any shedding uh, pin curls is something that I am like usually normally kind of hesitant to do on weave because Normally when I do like pin curls, it, normally when I do pin curls, it's because I'm getting like maybe like a glue in or something that's like really quick and I'm not going to do it that long. But pin curls and apply, doing a lot of curls in hair can definitely tangle up hair. But this hair has not gotten tangled at all. Like it does not look like a nest or like I've been having birds and stuff playing in my head, which you can definitely get if you apply too many curls in your hair. But I applied a nice amount of pin curls and the curls just fell down. I had no problem with tangling, I had no problem with shedding, the curls came out beautifully even before I applied the pin curls. The pin curls just kind of set the curls into place. So I definitely appreciate that, that the hair does curl really, really well. Um, when I got the hair, the hair didn't have a weird smell to it or anything. It came in plastic baggies with a ribbon on it that says sexy hair. Um, what else? The lengths were definitely true to lengths. Like I said, curl now it hits right above my breast. But if I stretch it down, it's like down here. That's the longest one. 
that's the longest length so yeah that is definitely like I am in love with how my hair is right now like I love me some curls I love full big hair and this hair definitely did it for me like three bundles and I was okay like I did not need any more I still maybe have like a little tiny bit left I did not sew this hair on I did do the glue method um with like hair bonding glue so the closure is sewn on but the rest of the tracks on the hair is not it's glued on and I like I like it like it's nothing different than if I were to have sewn it down normally I do sew my wigs but just with the simple fact that I do get a lot of hair sent to me it's like it's kind of time consuming to sew each and every one of them and yeah I definitely like the way that the hair came out when I got the hair first I thought I'm okay I'm gonna color but then when I was like mm, I kind of want some curls in my hair so I didn't I decided not to curl it color it and I'm really glad that I didn't because I like the black and I like well it's not it's not a black it's like a two it's definitely a brown color it's not black so keep that in mind if you do prefer jet black hair I would definitely keep that in mind but yeah this is the hair the closure is amazing. I did bleach the knots on the closure. The closure lays really nice. Like, I love, like, if I ever feel like I want to just buy some closures, I would definitely buy closures from them. This is a middle part closure, so it already came with the part, uh, like, pre-plucked and stuff. I did bleach the knots. I used a 20 volume developer and just some BW bleach. I left the bleach on there for maybe 15 minutes and it bleached perfectly. I did not have any, like I honestly could have possibly left it on there just a tiny bit longer. But the bleaching process did not take long at all. It bleached perfectly. I didn't have any over bleach knots or anything like that. So I definitely appreciate that. Um, like I said, the closure is a 4x4 closure and 14 inch. Their closures are amazing like definitely very very good so yeah this is how the hair looks i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will leave all of the information for where you can find them listed down below i'll leave the website listed down below and their uh social media and all the other stuff listed down below i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment thumbs up and subscribe don't forget to leave other suggestions of videos that you would like to see down below and i'll talk to you guys soon bye